While it's not a far-fetched idea to consider a world where dinosaurs still roam, there's an intriguing question to ponder. Were dinosaurs truly the most formidable creatures in Earth's history? What if I revealed that our planet was once home to beings that outmatched dinosaurs in terms of size, ferocity, and sheer terror? Ranging from deep-sea monstrosities to colossal serpents and nightmarish beings, join us as we explore 20 animals that redefine the concept of fear, surpassing the dinosaurs in terms of sheer scariness. Number 20. Helicoprion. This monstrous, prehistoric fish, stretching 20 to 25 feet in length and existing 270 million years ago, remains at the center of one of paleontology's most perplexing enigmas. The saga began with the unearthing of peculiar fossilized relics resembling something akin to fossilized fruit roll-ups, elongated teeth with a mind-boggling twist. It was the pioneering Russian geologist Alexander Petrovich Karpinsky, who in 1899 christened them Helicoprion, after unraveling that these oddities were integral to a shark-like fish. Karpinsky's best hunch was that this bizarre dental configuration was affixed to the creature's snout, almost like a perpetually coiled party horn. However, the world of paleontology would remain puzzled for over a century. Years of speculation on the true arrangement of this toothy spiral gave rise to a menagerie of bizarre depictions featuring sharks bedecked with toothy spirals hanging off their snouts, swaying from their lower jaws, adorning dorsal fins, caudal fins, and even lurking deep in their throats. The mystery endured until 2013 when a breakthrough occurred. A study led by Leif Tapanila from Idaho State University finally proposed a conclusive theory. The coiled row of teeth occupied the lower jaw in a buzzsaw-like formation. As the fish aged, new teeth constantly sprouted at the rear of the lower jaw, with barely any upper teeth in sight. Now the million-dollar question, how did Helicoprion ensnare and devour its prey? In a spine-tingling revelation, paleontologists suggest that, as its jaws clamped shut, the toothy coil rotated the teeth backward in a saw-like motion. As if this weren't horrifying enough, the most massive helicoprian specimen ever unearthed boasted a jaw that spanned a jaw-dropping two feet in width. Fortunately, this nightmarish buzzsaw predator breathed its last some 225 million years ago, a testament to a bygone era of prehistoric terror that's best left in the past. Number 19. Titanoboa about 60 million years ago in the steamy swamplands of what we now call Colombia, the Titanoboa, the largest snake to ever roam the earth, slithered into existence. Imagine a serpent stretching nearly 50 feet in length and weighing a jaw-dropping 2,500 pounds, making it a colossal heavyweight, a full 10 times heavier than today's rulers of the same territory, the green anacondas. However, don't fret. Titanoboa never engaged in a showdown with the mighty T-Rex. It thrived a few million years after the age of dinosaurs, when Earth's landscapes were dominated by vast, steamy jungles, where everything was grander, hotter, and wetter than our contemporary world. This behemoth of a snake was so colossal that it seemed to defy the very laws of physics. You see, every living being on this planet has evolved within the confines of gravity. The colossal creature, Reaching lengths of 100 feet is only possible in the ocean because gravity's effects are less pronounced underwater. Titanoboa, scientists believe, harnessed this same principle to achieve its monstrous proportions. It likely spent a considerable portion of its life in water, behaving more like its aquatic relative, the anaconda, despite its resemblance to today's boa constrictors. Can you picture yourself taking a leisurely river dip only to stumble upon the skin of one of these colossal beasts left on the riverbank? Now, when it comes to Titanoboa's diet, the answer is straightforward. Anything it could lay its eyes on. This gargantuan snake was an ambush predator, relying on its incredible power to squeeze the life out of its unsuspecting prey. Titanoboa's menu mainly featured large reptiles, such as giant turtles and even crocodiles. The reasons behind its extinction and when it occurred remain shrouded in mystery. Number 18. Dunkleosteus When we talk about terrifying prehistoric water dwellers, Dunkleosteus stands out as a true aquatic nightmare. This hulking fish ruled the waters during the late Devonian period, which spanned roughly 370 to 360 million years ago, 
aptly labeled the Age of Fish. To put this into perspective, this was eons before the majestic dinosaurs made their debut during the Mesozoic era, occurring between 245 and 66 million years ago, neatly divided into the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous periods. Dunkleosteus, measuring between 26 to 32 feet in length, possessed a shark-like streamlined form adorned with an armor-plated head. Its visage might not have won any beauty contests, but what it lacked in looks, it more than made up for in sheer brawn. Surprisingly, this aquatic terror didn't rely on conventional teeth. Instead, it sported two elongated, bony blades that could snap and pulverize nearly anything in its path. And I do mean anything. Dunkleosteus displayed a robust appetite, devouring fish, sharks, and even its own kind. Its formidable fangs grew continuously, constantly grinding against each other, acting as self-sharpening shears. To comprehend the astonishing might of its jaws, consider that scientists speculate Dunkleosteus could exert a staggering 80,000 pounds of bite force per square inch. To put this in perspective, a lion's bite generates approximately 650 pounds per square inch. However, Dunkleosteus had a peculiar weakness. Its insatiable appetite often led to bouts of indigestion. Fossils of this prehistoric leviathan have been unearthed, alongside regurgitated and partially digested remnants of its meals, offering a glimpse into the voracious appetite of this ancient aquatic predator. Number 17. Megalodon. The Megalodon, also known as Big Tooth, stood as a fearsome predator that roamed the oceans from approximately 23 to 3.6 million years ago. This colossal shark, a member of the now-extinct Autodontidae family, shared its lineage with the formidable Great White Shark, yet it outstripped its relative in both size and power. While the exact appearance of the Megalodon remains somewhat shrouded in mystery, scientists estimate its length could have reached an astounding 67 feet, firmly placing it among the largest known fish to have ever existed. Picture an ancient ocean where a creature of such proportions could consume a human whole. What set the megalodon apart were its teeth, which dwarfed those of the great white shark, measuring approximately three times larger. These teeth were exquisitely adapted for grasping and crushing prey, and the megalodon was armed with a bite force that could potentially exceed a staggering 82,644 kilograms. With this incredible power, it could effortlessly puncture the hearts and lungs of its victims, while the megalodon reigned as a dominant predator, it faced competition from cetaceans that preyed on whales. This ancient shark played a crucial role in marine ecosystems, with its primary targets being large prey such as whales, seals, and sea turtles. Juvenile megalodons typically inhabited the warmer coastal waters, where they primarily fed on fish and smaller whales. In contrast, the adults ventured into deeper waters to tackle more substantial quarry. Several factors likely contributed to the megalodon's extinction, including shifts in ocean temperature and changes in the distribution of baleen whales. These alterations disrupted the ecological dynamics of its habitat, eventually spelling the end of this awe-inspiring marine predator. Number 16. Platybelodon. An otherworldly creature that seems like it could be straight out of a child's wildest imagination. But if you could travel back between 8 and 20 million years ago, you'd discover that the Platybelodon was no mere fantasy. It was an actual resident of our planet. This ancient relative of modern elephants had a jaw that protruded oddly, featuring an extra pair of enlarged tusks, which, surprisingly, were modified incisors. Now the question arises, what was the purpose of this peculiar adaptation? Nature rarely invests energy in superfluous traits. In the 1920s, when Platybelodon first took the scientific stage, experts believed that its lower incisors were designed for shoveling, scooping, digging, and dredging soft vegetation, possibly in aquatic or swampy settings. Fast forward to 1992, when paleontologist David Lambert proposed an intriguing alternative. He suggested that these specialized incisors could also serve as scythe-like weapons, adept at slicing through dense vegetation. Instead of being restricted to coastlines, Platybelodon roamed the Miocene landscapes of Asia, Africa, and North America, where it dined on terrestrial plants. With its trunk, 
It would grasp branches and wield these built-in scythes to trim them with remarkable precision. You might wonder how we know so much about these unusual creatures, given that their fleshy, spork-shaped appendages don't fossilize as readily as bones. The answer lies in their tendency to meet their demise in groups, often near or in rivers, creating ideal conditions for fossilization. Number 15. Andrusarchus. Meet Andrusarchus, an ancient predator that once roamed the landscapes of East Asia approximately 45 to 36 million years ago, during the Eocene era. Astonishingly, it is believed to have been even more menacing than certain dinosaur counterparts. Discovered in 1923 in Mongolia, it was a fragment of its skull that emerged from the depths of time. Yet this fragment alone measured an astonishing three feet. With only limited remains to work with, scientists managed to piece together a truly spine-chilling representation of Andrew Sarkis. Imagine a creature stretching 16 feet in length, standing at an imposing six feet in height, and tipping the scales at a weight ranging from 800 to 997 kilograms. Its robust body, short legs, and an elongated tail contributed to its fearsome appearance. However, it was the creature's snout that truly inspired dread, bearing massive, bone-crushing teeth that added to its nightmarish visage. Number 14. Gigantopithecus Gigantopithecus, a colossal ape that once roamed the lands of southern China, existed from around 2.6 million to 11,700 years ago. The first fossilized teeth of Gigantopithecus were so enormous that they were initially mistaken for dragon's teeth, a notion that modern researchers have since dispelled. This should give you a glimpse of the sheer size of these creatures. They stood a towering 10 feet in height and tipped the scales at a staggering five tons, making them the largest apes to ever grace the earth. While size can be a formidable advantage against predators, it turns out that the immensity of the Gigantopithecus may have been the very cause of its downfall. These ancient giants are believed to have primarily feasted on a plant-based diet, particularly fruits and berries, although we know relatively little about their behavior. Climate change likely played a pivotal role in their extinction. To put things in perspective, consider that a modern silverback gorilla consumes approximately 40 pounds of plant material each day. Now, imagine the colossal dietary requirements of a Gigantopithecus. As the climate grew drier and their lush jungles transitioned into savannas, they simply couldn't find enough sustenance to survive. Number 13. Camarocerus. In the ancient pages of Earth's history, Camarocerus emerges as a colossal and imposing creature that once roamed our planet long before our time. This formidable entity dominated the depths of the ocean, creating an eerie sensation akin to seaweed brushing against your legs. Picture a colossal sea monster lurking below, capable of sudden leaps to seize its prey. Such encounters were a reality 400 a.m. 60 million years ago, Camaroceras, marked by its vast, cone-shaped shell and an array of tentacles, reached weights of up to 200 pounds in lengths ranging from 6 to 12 meters. Their sturdy shells limited maneuverability, causing them to mainly reside at the ocean floor, asserting dominance without the need for active swimming. Number 12. Arctotus. The short-faced bear a creature that once roamed the North American continent during the Pleistocene epoch roughly 10,000 years ago, was a colossally massive and formidable beast. It was not just big, it was incredibly fast, outpacing even a horse, and boasted strength surpassing that of any mammal living today. Since the time of the dinosaurs, the Arctodus, as it is scientifically known, stands as the largest carnivorous creature to have trodden the earth. Its defining features included tremendously powerful jaws, capable of delivering a lethal and bone-crushing bite, and the largest claws known to mankind. These formidable limbs made it not only a swift runner, but also allowed it to administer deadly strikes with remarkable efficiency. Experts suggest that the Arctodus had the capacity to track down and conquer virtually any prey it desired, positioning it at the absolute zenith of the food chain in its natural habitat. However, the one challenge that appeared to impede this relentless predator was an unexpected geological phenomenon within its territory, sticky pools of tar. 
This gigantic bear was so profoundly perilous that it earned the moniker the Death Bear. Arctoduces were hypercarnivores, signifying that their diet primarily consisted of flesh from other animals, making them apex predators of their time. Number 11. Anthropleura. While many of us recoil at the sight of typical creepy crawlies, envision a time when these creatures reached monstrous proportions. One example is Anthropleura, an eight and a half foot long millipede that roamed the earth during the late Carboniferous period, approximately 359 to 299 million years ago. Though Anthropleura likely had a herbivorous diet, consuming dead plant matter similar to modern day millipedes, it was an undeniable spectacle. Fossil trackways indicate that these colossal millipedes could move surprisingly fast, undulating hundreds of massive legs with an eerie rhythm and navigating around obstacles with agility. Anthropleura holds the title of the largest land invertebrate in history, making it highly improbable that they had natural predators. Their flexible, segmented bodies could even rear up into a defensive posture, seemingly gazing into your eyes. However, these colossal insects met their demise as the Carboniferous period concluded. Drying conditions led to a significant reduction in the lush rainforests that once served as their habitat. You might be curious about why we no longer encounter such gigantic bugs today. The prevailing theory attributes the colossal size of prehistoric insects to the surplus of oxygen in Earth's atmosphere. During Anthropleura's era, vast lowland swamp forests led to a surge in atmospheric oxygen levels, reaching around 30%, nearly 50% higher than today. Number 10. Megatherium. Meet the colossal ground sloth, which roamed South America about 5 million years ago during the Cenozoic era. These giants reached lengths of up to 6 meters and weighed a staggering 4 tons, dwarfing their living sloth relatives by tenfold. With massive claws and enormous jaws armed with teeth to match, they packed a lethal punch, even capable of taking on formidable saber-toothed predators. While primarily herbivores like modern sloths and armadillos, these mega-sloths occasionally included meat in their diet, and nothing in their habitat could thwart them, not even fierce saber-toothed predators. Standing on their hind legs, they could deliver devastating claw strikes, much like modern bears. These giants often inhabited caves in groups, and intriguingly, they coexisted with early humans, as evidenced by megatherium remains in Argentina bearing cut marks, shedding light on this unique chapter of our ancient history. Number 9. Mega Piranha. The Mega Piranha, an enormous and extinct relative of today's piranhas, terrorized South American rivers during the Miocene epoch in Argentina, around 8 to 10 million years ago. Measuring up to one meter in length, this real-life river monster left devastation in its wake. The only known remains of the mega piranha are its premaxilla, the front part of its upper jaw, making it challenging to determine its exact size. Nonetheless, its serrated teeth were arranged in a zigzag pattern, ideal for tearing flesh, much like modern piranhas. These creatures are believed to have hunted in large groups, posing a significant threat to anything that crossed their path. Thankfully, they are now extinct, so there is no need to fear their resurgence. Films like Piranha have already showcased the havoc they could cause if they were to return. Number 8. Edestus. The Edestus, a creature of the deep past, is one of the most terrifying prehistoric sea monsters, the kind that could send shivers down the spine of sailors and inspire songs filled with dread. Fortunately, this nightmarish creature existed some 300 million years ago, during the late Carboniferous period in regions including the United Kingdom, Russia, and the United States. It is believed to have attained colossal lengths of nearly 7 meters, rendering it a gigantic killing machine. This shark earned the moniker Scissor-Toothed Shark for a good reason. Unlike most modern sharks, its teeth didn't fall out when they wore down. Instead, New gums and teeth were constantly generated at the back of their jaws, while the old teeth were pushed forward, resulting in a bizarre scissor-like appearance. Researchers speculate that the Edestus might have hunted by swimming at exceptionally high speeds and then slamming into larger prey's bodies. Its teeth and jaws would have pierced through flesh and bone like a serrated battering ram, ensuring the instant demise of any animal, regardless of its size. 
This gruesome hunting technique made the Adestus a formidable and unrelenting predator of the ancient seas. Number 7. Anomalocaris Approximately 550 million years ago, in an era when the oceans were rich in oxygen and most life consisted of single-celled organisms, an extraordinary anomaly existed. Anomalocaris. Its name, derived from Greek, translates to unusual shrimp. But this creature was anything but ordinary. Anomalocaris was a giant arthropod that reigned as the supreme ruler of the Cambrian Ocean. Researchers speculate that Anomalocaris could have reached lengths of 1.5 to 2 meters, making it a formidable apex predator that struck fear into the hearts of its fellow ocean dwellers for hundreds of years, marking the beginning of an evolutionary arms race. With a squid-like appearance, complete with two remarkably large eyes perched on stalks, what truly set it apart was its extraordinary circular mouth adorned with dozens of spiny plates designed to slice through the flesh of its prey. Anomalocaris possessed two elongated 14-segment frontal appendages, each armed with sharp spikes for both wounding and capturing prey. This prey would then be transported into its circular ventral mouth for consumption. Their remarkable swimming skills, coupled with incredibly sharp vision from thousands of eye lenses, elevated Anomalocaris to the status of an ancient marine predator and a significant milestone in Earth's evolution. Number 6. Dinosuchus Dinosuchus, a creature with a name that fittingly translates to terrible crocodile in Greek, was undoubtedly one of the most perilous animals in its prime. It thrived during the Cretaceous period, approximately 82 to 73 million years ago. Fossils of this formidable predator have been unearthed in the North American Western Interior Seaway, which once divided the continent into two distinct land masses. This creature was so deadly that modern researchers are undeniably relieved it's now extinct. Dinosuchus stands as one of the largest crocodiles to ever tread the earth, with lengths reaching up to a staggering 12 meters and a weight of 6.5 tons. In water, it was a formidable presence, armed with sharp teeth that could seize and consume fish, turtles, and even giant dinosaurs. Of course, even the mightiest of dinosaurs would have been easy prey for this colossal predator. However, the grand scale of Dinosuchus came with its limitations. Its massive four-foot skull hindered its ability to run at high speeds, rendering it vulnerable to other predators. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Hey there, fearless explorers. Prepare to have your socks knocked off by this mind-blowing image. Is it just me, or does this creature look like something straight out of a sci-fi horror movie? I mean, seriously, with those menacing teeth, it's like Mother Nature decided to add a dash of nightmare fuel to our world. But hey, could it be real? Now check out that tiny ship down there, circled in bright yellow. Poor souls on board, I bet they weren't expecting to be a seafood feast that day. Now, dear viewers, let's dive into this mystery together. Do you have any wild guesses about what this mysterious creature might be? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We're dying to hear your wild and imaginative theories. Number 5. Jacolopterus. The Jacolopterus, a creature that could easily induce nightmares, roamed the seas approximately 460 million years ago during the Silurian period. This spiky sea scorpion holds the record for being the largest arthropod ever known, reaching lengths of up to 8 feet. To imagine its appearance, picture those unsettling facehuggers from the Alien franchise but magnified to colossal proportions and with the added capability to swim. Its segmented, paddle-shaped body bore a resemblance to the horseshoe crab, albeit on a much grander scale. Jacolopterus was a swift swimmer, thanks to its oar-like hind legs, allowing it to chase down prey with remarkable speed. This marine behemoth boasted enormous spring-loaded claws, which it used to snatch passing fish. Notably, one fossilized spiked claw discovered in 2007 measured an astonishing 18 inches across. It's undeniable that if this gigantic sea scorpion were to exist in modern times, its formidable claws could be used for a deadly, skull-crushing embrace. The reign of the Eurypterids, including the fearsome Jacolopterus, came to an abrupt end during the Permian extinction event around 299 and 252 million years ago. This catastrophic event wiped out over 96% of all marine life on Earth, consigning these nightmarish creatures to history. 
Number 4. Terror Birds The forest racidae, famously known as terror birds, didn't earn their foreboding moniker without reason. After a catastrophic meteor impact that wiped out formidable dinosaurs like the T-Rex and Velociraptor, these imposing creatures emerged as the undisputed land predators in South America, reigning for an astonishing 60 million years. Standing up to 10 feet tall, sporting T-Rex-like feet, and a hooked beak capable of fatally severing a horse's spinal cord with a single strike, they were true avian behemoths. Their era of terror unfolded in a time when Central America, as we know it today, had yet to take shape, when South America remained an isolated landmass. In a realm where most mammals were herbivores, the terror birds had a smorgasbord of plant-eating animals to prey upon, with little competition. These swift and agile predators wielded beaks resembling pickaxes, delivering gruesome skull-crushing blows to smaller creatures. Their bony heads doubled as colossal meat tenderizers, and their enormous, clawed feet were likely instruments of devastating strikes. Over their 60 million year reign, the terror bird family saw the rise and fall of 17 distinct species, ultimately vanishing into extinction around 2.5 million years ago. It's enough to make you reconsider the unassuming street pigeons sharing our modern world. Number 3. Hallucigenia. Deciphering the appearance of an extinct creature from approximately 400 million years ago presented a daunting challenge for paleontologists. Hallucigenia, in particular, baffled scientists for over half a century before its true nature was revealed. In 1977, British paleontologist Simon Conway Morris stumbled upon a peculiar fossil in the Burgess Shale of the Canadian Rockies. It had been initially classified as an annelid worm, but Conway Morris had a different perspective. He saw an otherworldly creature that appeared to walk on stilt-like spines with multiple tentacles emerging from its back, leading to the name Hallucigenia. In 1991, researchers Lars Ramskold and Hao Xian Guang challenged Conway Morris's interpretation, turning it on its head. The tentacles turned out to be legs, and the spines, initially thought to be legs, were repositioned to its back, possibly serving as a defense mechanism. In 2015, Martin Smith from the University of Cambridge finally unveiled the worm's head, complete with eyes and a ring of menacing teeth. While its dietary habits remain uncertain, the teeth likely aided in drawing water and food into its digestive system. Despite its diminutive size, hallucigenia, once understood, is undeniably unsettling. Number 2. Liopleurodon the mere sight of a Liopleurodon can send shivers down your spine, and the thought of it still existing today is enough to make your skin crawl. This prehistoric creature is undeniably more intimidating than any dinosaur, with a history dating back approximately 166.12 to 139.8 million years ago. It's categorized as a marine reptile, specifically a plesiosaur, though it's crucial to clarify that it's not a dinosaur. The first fossil evidence of this formidable creature was unearthed in 1873. Our understanding of the Leopleurodon is based on the available evidence, revealing that it reached lengths of about 20 feet, possessed a relatively short neck, and could weigh as much as a staggering 150 tons. Its defining features included enormous teeth with jaws extending nearly 10 feet and flippers that stretched to around 13 feet in length. These creatures predominantly roamed the waters around Europe and thrived in significant numbers during the Jurassic period. The Leopleurodon likely behaved much like apex predator sharks, a chilling notion that makes us profoundly grateful it met the same fate as the dinosaurs. Its hunting strategy may have involved patrolling at various depths, searching for silhouettes of unsuspecting animals or even humans on the water's surface, then launching sudden and deadly attacks. Considering the terror it could inspire, we should perhaps consider sending a gift hamper to whoever played a role in its extinction. Number 1. Smilodon The Smilodon, commonly known as the saber-toothed tiger, was a fearsome predator in the Pleistocene era that roamed the Americas from 2.5 million to 10,000 years ago. It stood out due to its unique teeth, which were well suited for hunting. Despite its nickname, Smilodon wasn't closely related to today's tigers, but its distinctive teeth and hunting skills set it apart. 
The La Brea Tar Pits in Los Angeles hold the most extensive collection of Smilodon fossils, providing valuable insights into their lives and habitats. Regarding their physical features, Smilodon's coat may have had spots, but what truly stood out were their impressive canines, visible even when their mouths were closed. They thrived in dense environments, especially forests, and their territory ranged from subtropical forests in the south to the vast mammoth steppes in the north, covering their entire American habitat. In this diverse landscape, Smilodon faced competition from other large predators, including fellow saber-toothed cats, dire wolves, and the massive short-faced bear. When discussing remarkable ancient creatures, the formidable Smilodon should not be underestimated. Thanks for joining us on this thrilling journey into Earth's ancient past. See you in the next video.